everyone, Chavos here, bringing you another Football Manager 2016 video. It is time for another episode of my Pentagon Challenge, and here we go. It is time. Today we play against Atletico Mineiro in the first game of the knockout phase. So, it's going to be a big day. What's been happening since I last saw you, though? The last time I saw you was against Sarah Portano. Which was here. Since then, two games, two losses. I didn't want to say that. I didn't. Two losses. A 4 0 loss to Corinthians in the Sao Paulo State semi final. And a 2 1 loss to Universidad Catalica in the Copa Libertadores group stage. So, Atletico Mineiro. We do play them in the next week twice. It's good. The first and the eighth. You check their schedule. It's a bit tougher than ours. Do you know why? Why? Because they've already just played against Cruzeiro three days ago. They lost. Then they play against us. Then they play four days later. Then they play three days later. So fatigue could be huge. They play at home in the first league, which is going to benefit them. Maybe we can grab an away goal or two. Uh, Transfer-wise, what's been happening? I think I've made one transfer since I last saw you. I have. His name is Roy Bennett on a free transfer. Centre-back. He's not going to be amazing. He's got a little bit of potential. Hopefully, squad player if we need him. 19 years old, Costa Rican. Already got eight caps. Decent. Not amazing, but decent. So, today is a big day. How are we going to line up, though? A 4-2-3-1, as we always bloody do. I bet you're sick of hearing that. Gordillo is coming on for Figueredo. Taylor is going to come off for Alexander Luis uh, Emmanuel, of course. Of bloody course. And Taylor, no, for Luis, yes. I think that's a bit better. Romulo and Douglas. Douglas starts. He always does Romulo. Who do we have there? Chavez, Martinez. Maybe we start Chavez, but he doesn't really fit the role. Martinez is going to have to be the one to fit it. Um, Santos, do we need him? Probably not. Oh, actually, probably probably do. We're going to take Figueroa off, and we're going to go like this, Clocker. That's how we're going to play. Okay, we're sorted. Placera is in goal. Ale Alexander on the left. Gordillo and Max swap those two around. Carlos and Manuel on the right. Martinez, Sergio, Antonio, Neto, Douglas. Let's get into it. It's a big day. Obviously, I haven't gotten to the right bit because I still have a little bit of processing to do. That's someone I'm scouting. Forget about it for now. We have a game. Atletico Mineiro, we need a bloody win. I'm telling you now, we need a win. If we don't win, we could be in some trouble. Uh, top goal scorers, Fally on the list with 7, Rodrigo for Vasco da Gama on 11, Kaiser from Flamengo on 9. Atletico Mineiro, the favourites at home, I'm not surprised, honestly I'm not surprised, so can we do a job over them today? Maybe, just maybe we can, I, sure, I certainly hope we can, here's Fally kicking off the match with Neto, Alexander, typical FM highlight, nothing is going to happen at the start, it never does, here's Douglas. Can't even put the ball in, and that is going to be it there. But things need to be happening today. We need things to happen. If they don't happen, we're in some trouble. We need to beat Atletico Mineiro. If we don't, we still have the second leg, but that is going to be a huge, huge fixture. We need to beat them. No doubt about it, we need to beat them. And after 25 minutes, things aren't too bad. Possession-wise, we're lacking a little bit. They're having a bit more shots. Great interception there by Emmanuel as we enter our first highlight of the game. Here's Martinez on the ball. Here's Sergio. Neto. Can he find Antonio? He can. What's he going to do on this left-hand side? Can he beat the man? He can. He cuts inside. He finds Sergio. Sergio tries to play back outside. Martinez does. Alexander. Ball to Antonio. Antonio is brought down in the box by Adalberto. Who is our number seven? I think it is... I couldn't tell you. It's Neto. I was going to say Neto, but I thought he's number 11. Neto steps up, shoots. For God's sakes, Neto. Really? We've missed a penalty. We've missed a penalty. Oh my God. That's not what we needed. An away goal would have been huge. Now, they're on the counter. If they score, 
we're in some serious trouble. Neto, how you can't be missing that. Max is very lucky there. He's already on a yellow. It's not looking good. Douglas, can you get there? He can't. Jonas Yesu, we know he's a good striker. He's on the ball now. He plays across to Rodrigo. Rodrigo plays out wide. Adalberto, the man who gave away the penalty. Great save by Placeres, and we are still in the match. I still can't believe Neto has missed that penalty, though. He's on a 5.9, a 5.8. You know who's coming off at half time? It is the man named Neto on a 5. Point, I was going to say 5.7, it changed. Neto is having an absolute shocker. He's coming off. Kalocker, come on, make the difference. Come on, boys. We need something to happen. Neto, you've cost us. If we go in nil all, I think I'll be happy. I'm not going to say I will be, I'm not going to say I won't be. Indecision. A nil or draw is a good start. We do play at home. We're dominant at home. Although the away goal could be huge because if they score away from home, we need two goals. So I'm really worried. Max, 6.3. Douglas, 6.4. Max has just gone up a huge amount. Antonio's on a 6.4. We're almost at the 70 minute mark. We are now. Let's make a change. Antonio off for Jarba. We know he can make an impact. Uh, Douglas. Mm, I'll leave him on for now. I'll leave him on. Why not? Well, we'll see if he can hold out. Jarba on for Daniel Antonio. And it looks like they have a highlight. Ball is at the back. Max has gotten rid of it. Martinez, you need to be careful. You're on a yellow card. Augusto, Raphael, don't shoot from there. Jonas Yusu, Max, Cordoba, Placeres. I tell you what, Martinez off now. And Romulo on. Sum it up at the back. I'll tell you what, I'll take a nil all draw. I've decided I'll take a nil all draw. Because maybe we can take it to him at home. Just maybe. But at the moment, a nil all draw is looking good. Two minutes left of injury time. Let's take it. Let's take a nil all draw. Fally, unless you score a wonder goal right now, I don't think it's going to happen. Here's Clocker. Finds Fally. Back to clock. No, he has. He should have. Sergio has given it up. We have 10 seconds to hold on. Jonas Yesu. Please lay a tackle. Carlos. Back. Nil all. I'll take that. I will take that. It's nil all. I'm not too happy, but I'm not too disappointed. You were unlucky. I'll tell the boys calmly that I'm happy with your defensive work. There you go. That's how you turn around a team talk. Uh, they're happy, they're happy, they're happy. And there you go. That is a great team talk. It gives the boys confidence going into the next leg, which is what we need. So we have a week's break. Obviously, I'm going to join you guys for the second leg. We always do that. Forget this. And Kaloka is not going out on loan, Gremio. Stop asking me. I don't want it to happen. Now, we play them in a week's time, which is good for us. We're going to have a bit of a rest. Atletico Mineiro, on the other hand, they obviously have to play in their state final thing, Majig here, the Minas state final. So that's in four days' time, and then they're going to play against us three days later. I'm hoping that fatigue can get to them and we can turn around. We will have the home advantage so maybe it's going to be a huge, huge game. And what can I say? That is it for now. I will join you guys for the second leg. So here we are back for the second leg. Now a few changes to the squad. The first one, Carlos Martinez is out. You check his injury here. He's got a bruised head. He's out for two to three days. If you have a bruised head, surely you'd be able to play. You make well, so much money. What is he on? I'll tell you what he's on. He's on 17 grand a week, and he can't play it because of a bruise. Mate, if I was getting paid 17 grand a week, I'd rock up and put 100%. I'd put in 200% every single week. That is ridiculous. So Kalocka's going to come in as well. First of all, Romulo takes the spot of Martinez. Kalocka comes in because Neto is in poor form. 6.58. He missed a penalty. It's not acceptable in such a huge game. He should know by now what we are trying to achieve. So, the 4-2-3-1, as we always do, let's get into it. 
and see if we can beat Atletico Mineiro today. We need a bloody win. I'm telling you that now. A draw is not good enough. We are the favourites. We're at the fortress. Let's just quickly have a look at this so I can show you why this is a fortress. Let's go to the schedule here. The last time we lost at home was to Catalica. I get that. But before that, we haven't lost in six months. So, one loss in six months isn't too bad. This run of form here is a bit worrying, though. We've got a 4 0 loss, a 2 1 loss, and a 0 0 draw. It's a bit worrying. But we are the favourites. We need a goal, at least. A 0 0 draw is decent. Now, this is what I've got to look at. They're playing a 4 2 2 2. How are we going to counteract this? They're playing very defensive. Do I push forward? Play more offensive? I don't know. Maybe I should. Do we risk it? I'll tell you what. We're going to start as normal for now. If things aren't working out, we can always push forward. And maybe we can risk it for some, for some reward. Risk is reward. And at the moment, we have nothing. We have a missed penalty. And we have a throw-in. Alexander. Oh my god, Carlos Emmanuel has scored. First shot of the game, his first ever goal. And he has scored. Carlos Emmanuel, take a bow. Four star current ability. He is developing into such a good player. Alexander, where has Emmanuel come from? I have not. He's, oh, he's come from. Oh, volleys it too. Carlos Emmanuel, take a bow. You little legend. Fantastic start to the game. Cannot believe it. Now, we have to defend this corner. Ball in, cleared. Douglas, the architect. Can he get there? He can. Fally, look wide. Antonio, it's all you. Back to Douglas. Douglas, the architect. Sergio, shoot. No. Emmanuel, the goal scorer. Ball in. Fally. Oh, it's not good enough. We need to be scoring there, Fally. Mate, you are the top quality striker at this club. You should be putting that away. I have Santos on the bench. If you don't score, Santos is going to play. I don't care what you have to say. You need to be scoring. You're on a 6.8 though. I will give you a break, but we need to be scoring. Please. It's a big game. I don't care about the league. I don't care about the Sao Paulo State. I do not care about the Brazilian Cup. I need the Copa Libertadores. I need the Champions League so we can leave Brazil before it drives me insane. Fally, Sergio, Coloca, Douglas, Bolin, Sergio. Oh my god. Oh my god, Sergio. Coloca looks for Douglas. Douglas is like, have it back, Sergio. And he's like, cheers, mate. First time, Thunderbastard. Hashtag Thunderbastard in the comment section below. I cannot believe it. Coloca's on the ball. Is it going to be three? Fally. Oh, it's close. It is close. Sergio's goal. Oh, my God. First, Emmanuel scores. Then Sergio scores that. Surely, surely... It is going to be ours. Sergio, Romulo, why don't you shoot from 30 yards? Sergio, Antonio, just too far. Just too far. We're doing well. We are doing very well. Let's tell the boys, bloody hell. If I, I should just write bloody hell, because that is how I feel right now. What a result this is happening so far. It's not guaranteed, though. We still have a half to play. But, oh my god, things are happening. Sergio's on a 9.0. Sergio is killing it. Alexander has got an assist. Douglas racks up another assist. Fally is coming off. We're on 70 minutes. Fally off for Santos. Santos, play the advance forward, please. On the other hand, Colock is looking tired. Fernando is going to come on in for him. Fernando needs some game time. Neto, you're in poor form. I'm not going to put you on. You could wreck everything. So have faith in Fernando. We spent a lot of time with Fernando. It's good to have him back. Douglas, ball in. Nothing. Antonio gets there. Can he play back to Douglas? He can't. He finds Sergio instead. Sergio. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Santos! 
He scores as well. It's three. That is it. It is game, set, match. Wrap it up in the bag. What can I say? Look at this. Sergio. What is... He's hit the... Surely he's on steroids. How Robson's on the outside of the post, I have no idea. None of the defenders have come back to, to Mark Santos. What drugs is Sergio on? What, what He must be on performance enhancers or fat burners. We're making our last change. Sergio, I'm not taking you off. Oh, I do it. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to let him have it. Jabba for Antonio. Make three changes up the top. Oh, my God, Sergio. What is he getting at? How many performance-enhancing drugs has he taken? I have no idea. Whatever it is, it's worked. Sergio, thank you. We're not doing anything illegal at this club. No bloody injections from us. I know Mamadou Sarko's just been banned for Liverpool. I feel really bad for him. I'm a Liverpool fan. But if you're going to use the performance enhancers, you can't do it. And Sergio, you better not be on the mate. If you are, I'm going to be pretty pissed off. Because you're going to get banned. Luckily, football manager's not that realistic. Although it is the best Football management simulator is not that realistic. So, Sergio, you're lucky they don't do drug tests, mate. Otherwise, you would be in some serious trouble. But what a, what a, what a player he is. At 29, I've risked getting him in on a free. He played 54 games last season. 7.43 overall. This season, he's got the 13 in the league. Well, actually, last season, how many did he play? 66 in a substitute appearance. A 7.43 in all competitions this season. He has played 19, and he has got a 7.49 in all competitions. Sergio on a free was a fantastic piece of business. And we go through to the next round of the Copa Libertadores. The question is, who are we going to get? Oh, my God. Sergio, take a bow. Take a bloody bow, my son. That is ridiculous. When do we find out who we play next? I'd like to know. Check the schedule. It's not there. When is it on the calendar? The Copa Libertadores, maybe it's in the next couple. semi-final draw. We're not up to the semi-final, though. We should have the quarter-final. When will we find out the draw? Let's find out. We'll carry on for a few days' time. Surely we f should find out by the 13th, maybe. Maybe we have it by the 13th. Dake is improving, which is fantastic. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I'm losing my voice. I'm so hyped up. That was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Sergio, Emmanuel, Santos getting on the score sheet. We are killing it. Universidad Catolica have gone through on away goals against Tigres. That's good because Tigres are a very strong side. Check out their key player. Vade at 3.5 million pounds. A very good defender. So, Tigres is out. That's good for us. Vales is out. Gremio, we can beat them. River Plate have beaten Boca 6-0. River Plate, a team we're going to have to watch out for. Their best player is Matias Torres, a striker. A very good one at that. Who are we going to get in the next phase, though? Who are we going to get? When can you tell me? Gremio, oh, surely we're not playing Gremio. Or we got them in the first game of the season. I don't want to join you for that. That's after the That's after the game. I, I can't do that. We cannot do that. I think we might have to end it here. Because I have no idea. Here we go. Olympia. Who are Olympia? When do we play them? We play them in three games time. So we do have a bit of a gap there. But who are Olympia? Where are they from? They are from Paraguay. The first, they, These are the guys with Viola. I said I'd be happy playing these guys, and it's worked out for us. It's worked out very well. Who is their best player? Uh, Value-wise, 2.7. Brian Silva is one of them. 29-year-old Colombian. Good centre midfielder. The other one, 3.2. As Jose Antonio Agostinho. Angolan, decent central midfielder. Roberto Barreto. 3.9 million pounds, Paraguayan. I don't think he's that good. What's his history like? He's average. He's average. He spent time at River Plate and didn't really do much. So he's an average player at that. And now, do they have anyone down in their resis here? They don't. 
So things are looking good for us. I'll tell you that now. We've received a, a decent draw, and we do play them in three games time. The 23rd of the 5th, it's 13 days. We've got three games, four games in 13 days. It's going to be a tough, tough set of fixtures. But if you've enjoyed the video, do not forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to see more of my Pentagon Challenge. And hopefully i catch you guys on another video. We've bloody done it.